Now, let me tell you guys a very interesting story about how I was able to go from a skinny, broke kid with one parent, no support whatsoever, could barely speak English, living in a country where English is the first language, no money, no qualifications, living in a council estate. From a place like that, to where I'm able to drive a Rolls Royce Ghost I own and I purchase cash. Looking outside and I can see palm trees and high, high scraper, uh, skyscrapers whilst my watch uh, is shining. Life's pretty good. So I'm gonna share with you guys how I was able to do this. And I'm gonna tell you guys the story. So the story starts when I was just about to turn 18. I believe I just turned 18 around that age. And unfortunately, my father, who was living in the UK, or sorry, I was living in the UK, my father was living in Latvia. He had unfortunately passed away in a tragic car accident. And up until this moment, you know, I was like 17, 18 years of age. Up until this moment, I was just probably your average teenager in the UK, doing dumb shit, wasting my life away, going out, partying, drinking, playing video games, and just literally, yeah, wasting my life away. And it wasn't until this moment where everything just clicked. I come from a very, very poor background, so my parents never had money. I am the only child. I have no siblings. And when this tragedy happened, and I say tragedy because, look, things happen in life, however, I think it's just, yeah, it's just not predictable, you know, these things. So it is what it is, you gotta, you gotta take it and you gotta use it to your advantage. And for me personally, I could have done one of two things. I could have either spiraled out of control and just done dumb shit and done drugs and, and whatnot and just wasted my life away. Or I could have done what I did. For me, that's what made me kind of have this switch. And this is lesson number one of this entire video. There's gonna be a lot of lessons that we need to take away from this video. So lesson number one is the fact that something must happen in your life for it to be, for you to say, do you know what? No, this is enough. I'm not, I'm not, I can't do this anymore. And then at that point, you will do whatever it takes to get out of that current situation. Because too many of you are actually comfortable. You say you don't want to live the life that you live. You say you want to escape the matrix. You say you want to uh, get rid of your nine to five and live life on your own terms and travel and et cetera, et cetera. But you don't fucking mean it. Because if you meant it and you actually wanted it badly enough, you would have had it by now. Unless for the very, very small portion of the people that are gonna be watching this video, who genuinely are just now, all of a sudden, waking up and realizing that there's more to life. And only now you're realizing, oh wait, I could actually start my own business. For the majority of you watching this, you have most likely had the idea and the fantasy of running your own company or at least making money online, and being able to live life in your own terms. But the reason why you haven't achieved it yet is because you're still comfortable enough to live the shitty, miserable life that you live right now. You are still comfortable enough. So something something must happen in order for you to actually go, do you know what, this is it. Enough is enough. I'm, I will do whatever it fucking takes to improve the lifestyle that I'm in right now. Now, what does that mean? Obviously, you, you can't really predict, for example, what happened to me, right? A tragedy where one of your parents passes away. You can't predict these things. However, the human mind is quite interesting. Human mind, the subconscious, can't sometimes tell the difference between what is real and what isn't. There was a, a famous study, I believe it was in the 70s, where basically this guy was blindfolded, right? And he was sitting on a chair and he just took his uh, top off, right? And he was blindfolded. And his friend behind him, he recorded the whole thing on a tripod, whatever. And his friend behind him had a very, very hot coat, you know, like with like tweezers or whatever they're called, like he was holding a hot piece of coal and he was edging it closer and closer and closer guy's back who's sitting on the chair right and he's like can you feel the coal getting closer and closer to your back and the guy's that's blindfolded he's like yes i can feel it fucking hell you're getting very very close he's getting closer and closer and closer and then as he's about to touch the guy's back um, like skin with the hot coal he switches it for an ice cube and he touches it with an ice cube and the guy who's blindfolded obviously starts freaking out. Like, what the fuck? Why would you just burn me? That hurts so bad. Da, da, da. And here's what's super interesting. And this is where it's uh, actually mind blowing. The guy that's blindfolded, his skin actually started like scabbing. Like, you know, when you get burnt, how like your skin turns? His skin actually started to do that. Now his friend showed the video. He clearly obviously didn't burn his friend with a hot piece of coal. He just touched it with uh, an ice cube. But the point of this experiment is that the human mind can't actually distinguish what's real and what's not. The human mind was so certain in that example 
that he just got burnt with hot coal that the actual real chemicals in the mind activated in order for his skin to start scabbing. It's crazy. So why am I saying all of this? Well, you can fool yourself in believing 110% that the time to take action and to build a business is now or never. And it's interesting, I mean, kind of self-reflecting as I'm talking, like I said, fool yourself. There's not really any fooling yourself involved. I mean, it's now or never. AI is coming. Like most of you guys are going to be replaced with AI. Do you understand that? Do you understand how fucked that is? Most of you guys are so insignificant in this whole little game called life that you can literally be replaced with a robot. Me as a business owner, I want to make as much money as possible. Therefore, I'm going to try and increase the amount of profit I make. Therefore, I must minimize the amount of expenses I have. Majority of the expenses that we have right now are the staff members, people. If we can just get a robot that can do the same thing as my people can do at a scale, 24 seven, don't need holidays, etc., and do it more efficiently and for a fraction of the cost, we're going to do it. So you must take action right now. Step number one or lesson number one. You must take action right now. And it's now or never. So that was the beginning of my story. That's where the shift happened. So then I started learning about, okay, well, how do I make money? Because me working at a shitty nine to five is not really going to make me enough to be able to be financially free and live the life that I want, right? So then I started learning about how to make money, how to make money online. And there's so many different things, you know? There's people talking about web development, videography, crypto, trading, and so on. Now, crypto and trading, I've always kind of thought two steps ahead, and I always understood that crypto and trading is very um, risky, and you're able to lose all of your money. I didn't have a lot of money. Matter of fact, I had maybe 100 or 150 pounds to my name. So trading was definitely out of the equation, but it's funny, like I trade now in crypto, but that's because I'm able to literally throw thousands of dollars at trade. And if I lose it, who fucking cares? Because if one of them hit, I've 10x my money and I've made it all back anyway. And it's just fun. But when you're starting out, I would not recommend something like trading, right? So anyway, then I started learning about how to make money. And I'm gonna cut the, you know, about two, three years of me trialing and failing and trialing and failing. Because the point is, I understood that in order for me to really succeed, I must do something that most people aren't doing. Blue ocean, red ocean. Look into it, Google it. It's a concept where you basically go against what the masses are doing, right? So I figured out, okay, well, OnlyFans models, this is back in 2020. OnlyFans models, everyone always talks about OnlyFans this, OnlyFans that. And whenever you think of an OnlyFans model, you instantly also think, oh, she's probably driving a G-Wagon, she's bought a Birkin, she's bought a Rolex, and she's flying to the Maldives. But all of those things are quite expensive, right? So that means there's probably a lot of money. They're making a lot of money. Huh. So if you just surround yourself with money, don't you think there's gonna be a high likelihood of you making a lot of money also? Yes. So I understood that concept, and I started working with an OnlyFans model. Now this is just by accident. I was seeing a girl in Spain and she was happen she happened to be doing OnlyFans. I found out after I was seeing her. And anyway, she on her phone, she was showing me how much money she was making. And it just baffled me. <laughs> so lesson number two is you must find a niche that is about to go viral and about to go crazy and everyone's going to be talking about it but you want to be one of the first people there and right now that niche is OFM. You must be one of the first people to the gold mine and then the likelihood of you having great success is a lot higher. When you have tons and tons of competition the chance of you succeeding is a lot lower. Pretty simple right? So I went all in. At this point I was trying to do a marketing agency. I was running that for a little bit but I quit that I dropped that and I went all in with OFM and OFM I can confidently say has uh, changed my life for the better. It's allowed me to retire my mother. So it allowed me to get her a house. It's allowed me to get a $120,000 watch. I have another $120,000 watch. I have an RM, I have a Patek Philippe, I have a supercar, I have a Lamborghini, I have a Rolls Royce, I have a penthouse, I have another villa, and my life's all right, you know? But all of these things are because I took risk. And I took risk and I went all in. And I think that's what a lot of people are missing. You guys are not taking risks. Right now, it's by far one of the easiest ways to make money online through OFM. 
Like it's, it's gonna get only more difficult. You understand that, right? Once AI comes to play, like it's gonna be so difficult for you to get into the industry, let alone succeed. So if you want to learn from me, if you want to check out all my other YouTube videos where I teach you guys exactly what it is that I do, how I do it, etc., you want to click on my channel or click the link in the description. I'll teach you exactly step by step what it is that I do and how I do it. But other than that, subscribe, leave a like on this video. If this video gets uh, a thousand likes, I'll do more of these come drive with me talk videos because it's quite therapeutic. You know, I like driving and um, it's two in one. You know, I can share my ideas and stories whilst I'm out for a drive. So if you want more of these, let me know and I'll see you guys on the next video.